Hey scholars, it's Mrs. Wong, and for today's Number Talk strategy, we are going to learn about subtraction and the use of removal. So if you were with me a couple days ago working on the add up strategy for subtraction, this is the complete opposite, but also utilizing the open number line. Hopefully you remember from our last video what the definition of a subtrahend and a minuend is. If you don't, review the video or we're going to pause this video future Mrs. Wong so that we can review it as a class. All right, for this example, we're going to be using the minuend 122 and the subtrahend 28. So with this strategy, I'm going to have the open number line and I'm going to start with the minuend over here on the right hand side at 122. Now this method is very different than add up because this method is going to be used the jumping and we're going to make 28. So for example, this sounds confusing, but watch this. 122 minus 22 equals 100. So we've already subtracted 22 from 122, but we actually need to subtract 28. So to make that, I'm just going to subtract another 6. And if I subtract another 6, I get 94. So if you look at this section right here, you can see 22 and 6 equal 28 minus 28. So we've subtracted oh, 28 from 100. 22 and we got the answer 94. So our solution to this, the difference between 122 minus 28 is 94. So the strategy is called removal, but we can kind of think about it as removal in chunks. Let's try the strategy with some different numbers. I'm going to choose the minuend 167 and the subtrahend of 42. With my open number line, I'm going to start with the minuend on the right-hand side at 167, 167. So I need to subtract a total of 42 from 167. I'm going to start with something simple because I can actually subtract 40 very easily because I know that it is 127. Now all I have left to subtract is the 2. So it's almost as if I did 40 plus 2 and I'm subtracting the 40 first and then the 2. So minus 2 and I get 125. And that is my answer. Let's check our work with a standard algorithm. 167 minus 42, always stacking the place values together. So 1's together and 10's together. 7 minus 2 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2, 1 minus nothing is 1, so 125. So you can see this method is easy if you want to just be able to remove in chunks. So hopefully this strategy makes sense to you and I can't wait to see you use it. You get to choose if you like removal better, if you liked add up the subtraction strategy better that we learned a couple days ago, but I can't wait to see what you come up with and I love learning what you are thinking in your head and when you guys combine different strategies together. So until our next number talk video guys, I'll see you later scholars.